kiss the cow? Does that sound like something you'd like to do? Hi, it's Janet from My Barnyard View, and today we're going to find out if Anna Lisa is going to kiss the cow. Kiss the Cow by Phyllis Root, illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. Mama May lived where the earth met the sky, and her house was as wide as the prairie. It needed to be. Mama May had so many children, she couldn't count them all. Among Mama May's children was one called Anna Lisa. She wasn't the youngest, and she wasn't the oldest, but she was the most curious and the most stubborn. Every day, Anna Lisa followed Mama May as she carried her two shiny pails to the pasture where she kept Luella, her magic cow with the beautiful brown eyes and bright curving horns. Every day, Anna Lisa heard Mama May sing to Luella, Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Every day, Anna Lisa saw Luella's warm, sweet milk flow into the shiny pails until Mama May sang. Thank you, Luella. My children shall eat. Cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. And every day, Anna Lisa saw Mama May kiss Luella right on the end of her velvety brown nose. Ugh, said Anna Lisa. Imagine kissing a cow. Every day, Mama May carried her pails of milk home to feed her hungry children. One pail of milk they drank for breakfast. The other pail of milk Mama May heated and salted and pressed into cheese for the children's supper. Cheese so fresh it squeaked between their teeth. Every day, Anna Lisa wondered, what would it be like to milk a magic cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew, and the more curious she grew, the more Anna Lisa just had to know. Finally, one day she said, I want to milk Luella. Never you mind about milking Luella, said Mama May. If you upset her, she'll never give milk. And then what would we do? But Anna Lisa had made up her mind. She took a pail from the sandbox and sneaked off alone to the pasture. Just like Mama May, Anna Lisa sang, Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Luella's milk flowed into Anna Lisa's little pail until she sang, Thank you, Luella, my children shall eat cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. Now this wasn't exactly true, of course, but magic words are magic words, and true or not, they worked. But did Annalisa kiss Luella right on the end of her soft, silky nose? She did not. And the next day, Luella would not give any milk at all no matter how many times Mama May sang her magic song. It didn't take Mama May long to figure out what had happened. Annalisa, she cried, have you been bothering Luella? All I did was milk her with my little pail, said Annalisa. And did you remember to kiss the cow? Asked Mama May. Me? Kiss a slobbery, bristly cow? Cried Annalisa. You must kiss the cow to make sure she gives milk again, said Mama May. Never, cried Annalisa, and she wouldn't. That day, the children ate scraps of bread without milk for breakfast. Now will you kiss the cow, asked Mama May. Never, said Annalisa. No kiss, no milk. That night, the children ate crusts of bread without cheese for supper. Now will you kiss the cow, asked Mama May. Never, said Annalisa. No kiss, no milk, 
no cheese. The next day, Mama May's house was full of hungry, crying children. The hungry children crowded around Annalisa. There were so many children. They crowded her right out of the house and up the hill to the pasture. Milk, they begged. Cheese, they pleaded. Now will you kiss the cow, asked Mama May. Never, cried Annalisa. Never, never, never. Moo, said Luella, putting her nose in Annalisa's face. Ugh, said Annalisa. But then she looked into Luella's beautiful brown eyes and wondered, what would it be like to kiss a cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew. And the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to know. There was only one way to find out. Please kiss the cow, said Mama May. Hmm, said Annalisa. But she scrunched up her eyes, bunched up her face, and kissed Luella. Luella smelled of fresh hay and sunshine and clover. Her nose felt silky and warm and dry. Mama May sang her magic song. Luella's milk began to flow. The children cheered and Annalisa felt so fine. She kissed the cow again. Wasn't that silly that Annalisa had to kiss the cow in order for Luella to continue to give milk? Now on Bramer Farms, we have a lot of cows and we don't have to kiss them for them to give us milk, but we do take good care of them. Today, I wanna to show you a little bit about how a cow is milked. Now Annalisa milked the cow with her hands into a little pail but we don't do it that way anymore. That's the way farmers did it many, many years ago. A little bit about cows. This is a cow. The pink part on my cow is called the udder, and there are four parts to the udder. Now, a milking machine is what farmers use now, and what we do is we take each of these hoses or cups and put them on each of the four udders, or they're called teats. Now, the milking machine actually hangs upside down like this, and it is connected to a hose. That hose, when the milk comes through these tubes with a gentle squeeze, the milk is going to come into this cup, through the hose, and it goes to a tank called a bulk tank Ours holds 1,000 gallons of milk, and that milk is kept cold until a milk truck comes to our farm to pick it up, and within two days, it gets to your store. That's how the milk comes from Bramer Farms to your grocery store. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.